everyone, welcome back to Sunday Bay 19. So today we're going to be ripping up this here. Yeah, all these shrubs and all that turn into arable field. Goodness me, what a dip there is down here. Must mind out for that. So yeah, I've got so much money because I have sold my other farm. You know where it says Lime Station? That is where I have sold my farm, where it says Willow Farm. So yeah, I sold it because I thought I'd never need it again. And also, it's quite a distance. But I have bought a field. It's field four. And yeah, that's my other arable field. Yeah, I decided to add another bit of arable land. So I'm trying to get the positioning right. There we are. So yeah, you saw my other episode, my other video today. Greenwich Valley is officially concluded. It's no longer going to be back. It's an old map, like, it's kind of old. Could be a right few months old now, or even a year old, possibly. So it's about time I moved on. I'm basically just staying on Sandy Bay. Sussex Farm, I'll be back soon. I just have no idea what to do in that, you know what I mean? I've got no ideas yet. But we'll have something soon. Oh yeah, that's right, this tractor can't handle that. I should have known. And I also sold my car as well, as I don't need it. See, there's my chickens there. I wonder how the cows are doing. Oh yeah, the cows need some silage bales. So we will be mowing a bit of this area here, not this area, this area is going to be arable. And uh, I had nothing in the sheds at the other farm, so everything was outside. We never put anything in the shed. Oh, there's a low branch there. I've no chainsaw. Great. I've no chainsaw. I have no chainsaw. I'm going to get this one here. Oh my... Oh my word. Goodness me, they're all coming out through there. Right. A wee bit of overhangs all right, but not too much. It's a bit ridiculous having loads of overhang. Well, that wee thing's still out of wee branch. I'll give it a wee trim or something. Or either just cut down the whole thing. Hmm. Well, it's not really that much of an issue. It's all right. I mustn't go too close to there. That is a risky wee bit to be at. And no, I don't think I need a hedge. Nah, I'm not worried too much about it. This is our new Holland Genesis Turbo. It's a nice wee thing to have. Nice powerful tractor. And I already saw there's been a viewer on my Greenwich Valley um, video today, so that's good. My viewers don't come in that fast, they're very slow just because my first ever video I did was not, not good. I should have done a reacting video or something crazy, like reacting to some funny videos. Anyway, there we are. So yeah, as I said in the first episode I did here, this is going to be a realistic series. What's here? Okay, we've got enough animals. <laughs> We definitely do have enough. So yeah, water and food trough right together. Hmm. You don't see any of that in any other map. They're not usually close together. Yeah, that's where the sheep sleep. If they seriously want to on a winter day or something. Or even a cold night, they just go in there. I like this building. It's pretty realistic looking. Anyway, we'll keep that on uh, New Holland for a time being. And we'll not see drill that just yet. We need to get our mower. Where's 390T? Yeah. Right. I use a 390. Make use of it. 
I don't buy tractors if I'm not going to use them. These tractors are expensive enough. I know I've got over half a million pounds. That's going to go really quick. Because, you know, of different stuff. Animal upkeep and all that. For how many cows? 30 calves and 10 cows. Yeah, the cows need straw as well. Hang on. Did I not give them straw? Oh, I did. <laughs> I did. And, yeah, how are the cows doing for milk? Oh, come on. I need them cows to do milk fast for my calves. And the good thing is, the calves are quite close. See at the corner of the map there? It says North Cow Farm. They're pretty close to it, so that's good. I don't like it when we're like a distance away from it. So yeah, this is our auto swath and more. Nothing's been sold except for the car from our other farms, so that's alright. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at this, a bit tight here. Well anyway, we made it. So yeah, I'll just start over here. I left the mower unfolded but you can actually move its position, so that's the way I do it. I'm kind of in the weeds here, but that's alright. <laughs> oh goodness, I shouldn't have went in there, there's a bit of a bump. <laughs> Not great. And there's no field, which is actually classed as a field. Yeah, I'm in, oh. I'm in the cow field. I think I'm in the cow's field. Hmm, well, we'll soon see. But since cows don't graze grass in FS19, I can just basically, you know, just mow the grass. Just mow it for them. used to move that flap but well, I don't know if you still can now hmm. looks like you can't but anyway not to worry I don't think I'm at the cows because I don't see any cows in this field I'm sure it's the other fields And yeah, their field is not this steep. Yeah, this is not the cow's field. It's the field with no number. <laughs> There's no number in this field. Yeah, the cows are in that field there, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So why does this field have no number? That's weird. Post down below, guys. Why does this field have no number? Hang on. Am I kind of getting somewhere here? Is this an animal's field? It must be, because I see a wee logo there. I'll have to go over to it. As soon as we're back at the top again. There's no way this is a animal's field, is it? I don't think so. Post down below, guys. Please do. Bit of a scrap heap there. An old belt. Oh my gosh. That's a lambkin cultivator that's on Mod Hub. It looks like it. Or is it the Lankin Cultivator from the Modern Classics DLC? Let's go and take a look. So we'll go into Cultivators. Yeah, here it is here. Well, it actually looks a bit different, actually. May it is the one that's on Mod Hub. Probably. Well, it does look really similar, though. It really does. How I know it looks like one of the mod is because I watched DJ Goham telling you about new mods for FS19. 
So, yeah, he's my best YouTuber, really. He's my first best. Staggerin's my second. Or, how about he's third? Yeah, third. Well, Silver News is my second. Right. Only one lap's alright. Yeah. What animal do you get here? Post down below, guys. Please do. Sheep! Hang on. So this is an our sheep field. Gosh. Well, I won't be getting any sheep because I've got enough animals to look after. Three. I've got cows, I've got chickens and cows. That's three animals in total that I need to look after. Because if I leave them neglected, they're basically just, well, they're not going to die. They'll only die in seasons, but if you leave them neglected, they're not going to produce anything. Like, the chickens will not produce eggs, and the cows will not produce milk. But at least I've fed them now. Well, the cows still need fed, but the chickens are fed, so they should be laying their eggs soon. Hopefully. So I can get them sold. And since I'm not playing seasons, well, basically everything looks a bit different rather than playing seasons. I don't want to play seasons on this map because Dagrowin's doing seasons on his map. Well, Sandy Bay here. And so I don't, I don't get copyrighted, I don't want to get copyrighted, so that's why I'm not in Seasons. And also, I don't really want to play Seasons, you know, on this map. Because, you know, I won't be able to film much, you know, making a video. I won't be able to YouTube as much on this map, so that's why I'm just in the standard. There might be a few things I'm kind of doing like Dagrowin's doing, I don't know, but... He might be doing a realistic series and I'm trying to do it as well. See, my other maps I did, are, they're just like semi-realistic series. Like, you know, with government to buy and all that. That's the cheap money thing. Yeah, the bill does move. How annoying. Stop, stop, up, you annoying wee thing. Finally. You have to say the annoying wee thing just to get to stop rolling. That really worked. So this area is really tight. <laughs> like seriously, it's tight. Yeah, the bill is staying there, so that's good. And I do own field 21, so I'll be doing some bill on it soon, hopefully. Do I own this field here? No, that's field 28. Don't own it. I'm going to wait for this build to finish. Please stay. Thank you. Please. Yes. Good job. Right. Let's get up this ferocious hill. Yeah. Hopefully a JCB can make it all right. So I'll have to use a new home Genesis Turbo. Seems to be our highest horsepower tractor we have. Yeah, in Greenwich Valley, this baler was a Vicon, and then I changed it to Kverland. Yeah, this tractor's doing pretty well. It's not that bad, you know. In fact, the tractor's doing really well, so that's pretty good. And yeah, that baler will have to get unloaded somewhere else. Oh, no. I've got the automatic drop on. Oh, I should have turned that off, but I didn't. I need to go and stop the bail. This is the method I always use. Do that. Stop rolling, you annoying wee thing. No, my speech didn't work that time. Nope, my saying didn't work. Not good. Stop rolling, you annoying wee thing. Yeah. Quit that rolling. Goodness me. Well, I'm just going to see where this bale goes. Is it stopped? Finally, it's stopped nice. Because there's a wee bit of a hump there. So that's good. B 
bell wasn't fast enough to go over it. I need the help window on for this. Turning off the automatic drop. Automatic drop. Oh, excellent. That has never happened again. At this rate, I can afford the Chrome Big M. Yeah. Just plus I sold my other farm and the other field. We used to own a field, you know, field 14. We used to own it. And then I sold it. So yeah, that's why we got loads of money. I love it when we've loads of money and I don't like it when we're poor on money. Because I can't spend it on anything. Oh, can I miss a wee bit there? I want to get every single piece. I might have always missed a wee bit down there maybe. But not to worry. We can always collect it in the next time and we cut it again. Right, so I'm just going to unload the bill just... Hmm, where should I unload it? Yeah, just here will do. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that can stay hard below. We know I should have unloaded it in the yard, that would have been handier. Anyway, 390T. So yeah, we're not going to use the auto stacker. We're just going to use the bale spike because these are going straight to the cows. They're not being sold or anything like that. You know the bales are not going to be sold. Oh, it's right a bit bumpy there. It really is bumpy. Right, let's go over to the cows. Yeah, the cows are going to love this. Remember that thing I used from Greenwich Valley, you know, this wee, like, what do you call it? I'll show it to you here, guys, I'll show you. Can't remember what you call it. Yeah, this here, food and fertilizer shop. I'm not going to use it for this series because it's a bit unrealistic. I wouldn't have thought you'd just put that there. So I don't think they're going to get total mixed ration, but at least they're going to have the best silage. Nothing gets any better than silage for the cows. Oh, they've got a ripe right manure there. So how much was that? Ah, uh, they're going to take loads. Yeah, a bit of manure there. I must get a manure spreader. In fact, I'll just get one right now before I forget. In fact, tankers first. Yeah, this one here, pretty nice. And then the manure spitter. And if I can find the category. <laughs> Goodness me, I always forget where they are. Where's the manure spitter category? I can't find it. Uh, where is that? Am I drawing those bats again? Oh, I've got mice. Where is it? I don't see it. Usually I'd find it right away. Oh, yeah, I'm always blind as a bat. <laughs> right, I'll find it. <laughs> so we'll use the Marshall one. Like the one we used on Greenwich Valley. Because well, I know many of you guys liked it. You really did like it. So, yeah, I'm going to keep on using it. And yeah, I'll just close the gate. Just to act realistic, as if the cows would escape, but they don't. Wonders in the shed here. Oh, it's just a shed. That's rare. That has to be rare. <laughs> Look at that, it's just hanging down, usually. Hangs up, you know, it just faces upwards, but no, that one's facing downwards. That's rare looking. <laughs> because, see, it really is. 
I'm sure there's one like that in real life. I'm sure there is. Although I never saw any sheds with that. Look at our my electric poles there are in the field. Goodness me, that's a lot. These are just one or two in real life, but 28 or something crazy. Goodness me, that's a right bit. May I will use the auto stacker, you know? Because this is going to be a very slow job. Going down there and then picking up one bit at a time. I tried lifting up two before, but they always slid out. They always slid out, so... Can't really use it for that. You know what, I'll just stick it the way I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Because I think the old stacker's over at the cow farm, so... Yeah, it's a right drive. What? So that's our feed trough, isn't it? Why won't it accept that? Accept the bill! Just accept the bail. Come on. Accept it already. Okay, something weird's happened, guys. It's not accepting the bail. And I don't know why. Because the cows need a lot more than that. Just accept it. Goodness me, do I need to put on zone markers here? I think I will. Interactive zone markers. Right. Ah, oh, oh great. Does Sire not exist there then? And I accept one bill and that's it. That's just weird. That's our water trough. That's our slurry tank. Obviously I'm not gonna put a bill in there because I'll never get out. And also that would be highly unrealistic doing that. Because no farmer would do that to a silage bale. Unless it was, you know, rotten. <laughs> and you just put the slurry tank away for mixing. But goodness me. That's weird. Let me know what's going on guys. It's not taking the bale. I'm going to turn off zone markers. Because it's showing no trigger whatsoever. You know what? Ugh. Why won't it accept it? Just accept the bill. It's a silage round bill. Freshly silage. No, I'm just going to leave it there then. <laughs> if it's not going to take it, take it in your own time. Otherwise, hang on, am I in the wrong bay? No, I'm in the correct bay. Which I went there earlier on because... Well, with the other bill, because remember when I said... About the manure. Plenty of manure there. That's the bay I took, so it must be in here then. Through this narrow bay. Is it like switching triggers? Now it accepted it. It's switching triggers, isn't it? <sighs> A little more to go. I'm gonna keep gates open. And I'm gonna try to get two bales on this bale spike. Two. And they have to fit. They must fit. They must just stay on. But whoa, I thought I was going to flip tractor there because you know with our directive, decorative um, rubble, you always tend to flip your tractor. Thankfully it didn't happen to me. That bill was moving a wee bit. Oh, you see that's what I'm talking about guys. That is what I'm talking about. Comes off. The spike. Just stay on, Bale. Stay on! Stay on, thank you. Right, let's go and get the Bale down here. The one that's pretty much about to go in the hedge. Alright, I'll leave it as the last one. I'll just get this Bale over here. Got the bail on, so that's good. 
got two BLs on the spike and the tractor doesn't mind a bit. I could put in a wee cuttable head share, you know? I think I will. That's a brilliant idea, guys, isn't it? Just put in a wee cuttable head share, plant on a bit of grass, and that'll be good. I think my cows are all still here. Yeah, as I said, they don't escape in FS19, so that's good. Because if they did escape, I'd be a bit annoyed because they're a right bit of money worth. Right. How are you doing now? Mm, they're all right. I'll have to make some more Cyrus Reels, but that will be in the next episode. Hello, cow. Nice cow. Nice <laughs> Right, have they produced any milk yet? Nope. Still nothing for the cows. See, so this farm is where we're going to be staying at. See, so within this video, I will put in the wee cuttable hedge. It looks stunning. Alright, there we are. I know it's in the one spike, but it's alright. This 392 has performed really well in this episode. Two bales on the spike, going up the hill. And then even one bale still goes up the hill without any problems. I don't know why that has a picture of Felsburn, but it does. It's a bit weird for that tanker. It's like everything that's like reflective chrome colour. It just basically shows a picture of Felsburn. So, Felsburn's a very nice map, but you know, I spent way too long on it. Over a year. Until I was able to get mods. Mods! Just because my other account was offline. Just because of that. Look at the size of that. <laughs> like seriously guys, it's some height. I don't know how you'd even build a wall there. Right, final job of today will be ploughing and then we will be Planting in the cuttable hedge and the wee bit of grass. I could cut some grass in there, you know, because, you know, I haven't got any sheep. I just cut that bit, and now I need to plow it up. But it's alright. Just as long as I cut it, that's the main thing. And I'll just go to the shrubs here. Yeah, just to like the bushes and all that. And finally, just get the seed along. And thankfully there, in a shed. Yeah, the seed drill and the front wheel tank is in the shed, so that's good. And I'll just drop off this cultivator just here, or the plow. It's really good cool. Yeah, all in the shed here. No one's sighting and you see my combines there and all that. 
I don't need the front tank because obviously I'm not plowing a big field, I'm not planting a big field, so I don't need the extension. And besides this tractor does not have a full 3.9 gauge. That's the option I chose. Thinking I wouldn't need it. Looks neat, doesn't it? Then we'll look then it'll look neat again when we put it back. I'll obviously show that within the video. Yeah, that's where I put my baler. Make use of that shed there. Just about fits in no more. Brilliant place. Old canola, soybeans, orange seed grass, grass, cuttable hedge, cuttable hedge. That's what we need. Cuttable hedge will go in first. The lovely cuttable hedge. I just call it lovely. <laughs> And then that other section there will just be grass, so I can always mow it in the future. Alfalfa, rye, wheat, barley, oat, canola, soybeans, oysters, radish, grass. <laughs> and there we are, on the old cultivator, just drove over it. And within this video, I will just put in barley in this wee area here. The bit that I ploughed up. Yeah, Sandy Bay 19 guys, I think this is going to conclude at episode 1000 probably, because it's such a brilliant map. It's going to be so hard to conclude this map guys, but as soon as there's an R map like for cuttable hedges, that's probably when it'll conclude. But hopefully not. It'll last longer than that, unless it goes before that. Hopefully not. And obviously PC players that do episodes on this, they've done a lot more episodes than me, because I'm only a console player. I don't play on my PC. I do have a computer, but it's not a gaming computer. It's just a computer for doing boring homework. Yeah. Homework's boring. I don't like homework. <laughs> Yeah, even though I'm going to be in second year, in September, oh, the homework's just going to get bigger and harder. But hopefully not too hard. It shouldn't be too bad now, but homework can be boring. Post down below, guys, of how you like homework. Is it boring? Is it fun? Not for me. <laughs> yeah, is it fun for you guys? Post down below. Please do. I'd love to hear from you. Just hit my JCB there. And that is the final piece, isn't it? Oh, hang on, there's a wee bit there. <laughs> Couldn't see it because of the shadows. The lighting is a bit better, yeah. But still, I can't really see through there, but that's alright. There's no issue in that whatsoever. I mean, I was so high. You know, the seat shelf's really high. I'll lower it to make sure I don't hit that wall. Excellent. I'm going to keep the JCB and the baler in the field for a time being because I need to cut a wee bit more of it. combine here is quite funny. Don't you know why guys? It says Mega there, class Mega. And then on the side it says Dominator. Mega and Dominator. So I don't know what that even means. 
Looks funny to be honest. So that's Mega there, then Dominator. I don't get it. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Till next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.